Homesteading with sheep? Here's what to expect when your sheep are expecting. First of all, handling pregnant sheep does not have to be hard, but you need to know if they're pregnant or not. So here are some tips to tell if your sheep are pregnant. So one of the most obvious signs are when your sheep start to widen out. And it can be hard to tell if your sheep still have all their wool on because they could just be completely pregnant and the wool is hiding it. And it really starts to show the closer they get to the end of their pregnancy. So you might not be able to use that tip at the beginning. You'll also see that their udder starts to fill as they get closer to being ready to lamb. And if you have a ewe that's extra wide, it's possible that she's carrying more than one, two, three, or maybe even four lambs. So last year we had a ewe who gave birth to quadruplets, and yes, she was extra wide. Now all of these signs are great if your ewe is almost ready to lamb, but if you want to know before that, here's how we figured out whether a ewe is pregnant or not, and I'm not sure if it's 100%, but this is what we've observed. If you put a U in with a ram, the ram will immediately try to jump on her, but the U will also pee in front of him and the ram will sniff the pee. And if it smells to him as if the hormones have changed and she's either not in heat or she's pregnant, he will not try to mount her. And so that's what we've seen. When we put one of our ewes who's pregnant with our ram, he basically backs off once he smells her pee and realizes, okay, this ewe is not open for business. So let's say you've ascertained that your ewe is pregnant. Congratulations, you're going to have lambs. So here's what you need to do to take care of your sheep while they're pregnant. So first things first, sheep need a lot of nutrition when they're pregnant because they're growing babies. So that means if it's winter like it is here for us, you will want better hay or more of it that is especially high protein. So what we've done is we have gotten in some alfalfa hay and that tends to work really well because it's higher protein than just grass hay. And so that is really important. The other thing that you will want to include is minerals, especially selenium. So there are all kinds of loose minerals or blocks that you can get specifically for sheep that they can eat and lick and really improve their minerals that they need for the babies. We also give our sheep a daily grain ration that is also high protein. Ours is about 16% protein and we also increase it after they give birth because once they're lactating, that is when they're really producing a whole lot of extra stuff that they need for their lambs. Now, one thing to watch out for with these grains is you don't wanna overdo it because you don't want the lambs to grow so big that it causes complications at birth. So we try to keep it to about a pound and no more per sheep per day and that helps them grow healthy babies but also also not have giant babies that they can't push out. And of course, water is always important, so make sure they have access to fresh, clean water on a regular basis. Another thing that you'll notice when your sheep are pregnant is that they will lay down more to ruminate, and that means they seem like they're just chill and enjoying the sunshine, and all of a sudden, poof, they have more food in their mouth, which is usually their hay, and they will chew that up and swallow it back down, and that's really important because it helps them to really digest all of the food that you're giving them. And of course, like all pregnant ladies, sheep need good exercise too. So you want them to not be confined to a small space. You want them to be able to walk around, preferably outside if possible, so that they can not get too stiff and just keep everything limber. Now, this is the most important thing for handling pregnant sheep is that you want to reduce their stress. And I know you might be thinking, well, sheep aren't stressed, but you want to follow the routine that you always have. Do not let them get in the elements if there's too much wind, rain, or snow, or there's something that is going to stress them out like predators or whatever it is, make sure that you are keeping them safe in a safe place at night, for example, and that they're not going to be running scared or anything like that. Because here's what can happen if they get stressed they could stop eating. And if you have a you who's pregnant who stops eating or stops getting up, it's really important to take action quickly because it could be one of two things. It could be pregnancy, toxemia, or ketosis. And both of those are things you'll want to address as soon as possible, as soon as you notice them. And I will link to another video in the description and up here on how to deal with that too. So if your ewes are fed well, they are not stressed out, then as they approach the time to give birth, their udder will start to fill up. And if it's their first time giving birth, it might not get that big, but if you have daily
scary use like we do, it does get really big, almost to the point of us wondering how they can still walk with that. So definitely just keep that in mind. Younger first time moms will probably not get as big of an udder, but second time and up use will definitely have a pretty big udder. And like all pregnant women, it's hard to use any one thing to estimate when lambs or babies will be born. So use your calculator to estimate approximately when lambs are planning to arrive. So now I really want you to watch the next video all about how to get ready for lambing and lambing season. So watch that now. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thank you.